Retail sales stalled out last month as consumers felt the pinch of higher rates and inflation. But despite the headwinds facing the sector, our next guest says there is a short-term trading opportunity in a few names. Jonathan Comp is senior research analyst at Baird. Listen, we are hearing alarm bells about how much inventory these stores have in stock and whether consumers are going into the holiday shopping season with less expectation of buying. Why are you sort of bullish on getting in right now? Yeah, thanks for having me, Contessa. You know, as a fundamentally driven analyst, projecting the next uh, few quarters is, is as challenging as ever. You know, there's a lot of supply risk. There's risks of demand shocks, as, as you mentioned. Um, but as you know, stocks and in, in the market overall reflect both fundamentals and sentiment. And in our note today, we highlighted five points to investors why we think sentiment for the group really reflects a lot of the risks that we see. And when you look at the stock price declines we've already seen for this group down more than 50 percent year to date and twice the market's decline. When you look at a couple of the bellwethers like Nike already having lowered the bar for the group, in our opinion, you know, we think a lot of the fundamental risks may be in the stocks here. And it certainly requires a certain risk tolerance. We expect a lot of volatility to continue. Uh, but in our view, we, we see some opportunities emerging more on a three to six month basis. You like a couple of uh, shoe companies, uh, not including Nike, which is, of course, way much more than a shoe company, but uh, Deckers and Crocs, which are largely in that area. Yeah, that's right. So to, to be clear, we do like Nike, maybe not as much in the short term as, as the three we highlighted today, uh, given some of the challenges that brand has in China. But the three we highlighted uh, all have some fundamentals that some factor of fundamentals that we think can help weather the storm and or our structurally better business models uh, that comparing over the last few years. We also think valuation for the three we highlighted are, are quite compelling. Deckers is among the highest quality portfolio brands in our coverage. It has more than $25 a share in cash on the balance sheet and we think is, is not getting credit for the growth potential of the combined portfolio of both the UGG brand and the Hoka run specialty brand. So that's one we like a lot here as a as a quality name. Crocs is certainly more controversial. The valuation is much, much lower here. We think the market is pricing in as much as a 20 to 30 percent cut to Crocs sales and much lower profitability and also not giving credit for the newest brand they acquired late last year, the Hey Dude brand. And, and frankly, all, all of the market indications seem to be holding up very well for both brands. And we think the, the expectations just are overblown here to the and, downside. And your third pick, which we didn't mention yet, but B VF Corp, which has Vans and North Face and Dickies, a lot of outdoor. But the Dickies part of that, too, with the exposure to uh, the workforce, right? Yeah, that's right. VF Corp is a portfolio of 12 brands. We think the portfolio is, is well positioned and certainly much better positioned in, than in the past. Um, virtually all of the brands except Vans are on a strong trajectory, including Dickies. And we think the market is overly concentrated right now on the Vans brand. Uh, we just met with management several weeks ago, spent a lot of time hearing about the new strategies, meeting the team at Vans. We think a fundamental turnaround there is certainly possible over the next few quarters. And the stock is trading at valuation levels on a forward 12-month uh, basis that really rival back to 2008 and 2009 levels. Um, you throw in a dividend yield that's approaching 7 percent, and wow. we think the sentiment here is, is too low. And really, you know, the stock is, is a consensus short idea here that I think um, over the next few quarters, you know, there's, there's strong potential for sentiment to improve from, from the low levels and here. And BF Corp just turned positive as you were talking. Jonathan Kahn, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.